Well, that teach me for buying a cheese and ham cob for a quid, wouldn't it? Right, I mean, I'm I'm a grown ass man. I'm a six foot four rugby player, but I still sit here thinking. What was that? Welcome back. How are we? Uh, it's Friday afternoon. The weather this week has been beautiful. I've been stuck working, so uh, yeah, we're going to sneak off for a couple of hours tonight. Um, my mum's away this weekend, so I've been and nicked her little baby Persia, as you can see it just about fits uh, fits my tackle box in the back. Um, yeah, 15 foot rods, two piece rods were a, were a bit of a mission, but they're in. We're going to head up to East Coast, um, check out a couple of my local spots. I'd like to try a new spot, but um, given that we're we're going to get up there as it's going dark, um, I might just resort to one of my, my, known, my better known spots. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, it's three o'clock, Friday afternoon, couple hour drive. I'll bring you back when we're there. It's one thing I do love about coming over to this, uh, this part of the coast, is the scenery. Now it's flat, it's flat as a witch's tit, but I don't know if you're going to be able to make them out over there. Where are we? Right there, somewhere. Right. Well, it's definitely no Derbyshire. But there's no sea fishing in Derbyshire either. Well, we've made it. A um, little over three hours. Traffic wasn't as uh, as good as I was hoping. I don't know why I keep thinking I can come away on a Friday night and do it the same as I'd do it on a Sunday morning. Um, but yeah, three hours. So it's just gone six o'clock. Uh, I tides at ten to get kitted up, get the gear out of the car, um, head down. Here we have it then, uh, first time seeing the sea. Um, since last time I come up, it's washed all these boulders out. These all used to be covered with uh, with sand, but obviously with the storms and stuff we've had, um, just recently uh, it's uncovered them all. Um, and that's typical of, of this side of the coast, so you can come up one week, um, I, as you've guessed, uh, drive up from Derby. Uh, so, you, you know, you can come one week, fish one area, and you've got a nice big deep gully in front of you, or you know, you're fishing over sand and then a bit of a churn up and uh, you can come back the next week and everything's completely changed. Yeah, I mean, out there, flat farm. So, uh, there's there's not even enough surf, I don't think, for, for bass. We might get one or two. Um, but uh, I think tonight the uh, target's going to be raised. All set up, both rods out. On the, the smaller beach caster, I've got... Uh, I've got a two up flapper rig on there, um, which I'm fishing just with a plain bomber lad. Just to let it roll around on the seabed. Um, typically, what, what you tend to find is if, if that bait's just moving around, just rolling around, sometimes you'll pick up a good flatty or something like that. And then on the, on the bigger rod, we've got uh, the, the up and over, quite a long up and over rig. Um, and on there I've got a, a squid and worm bait at the minute. Um, Chances of chances of a bass, I think, are slim. It's it's too calm almost. Um, well, not almost. It is too calm for bass. Um, we might pick one up as it's going dark. Um, but yeah, worm worm and squid. I've got some blueies, so we're going to try for thornbacks. Uh, he's only a baby, bless him. Or she. Not to mean to be uh, sexist, but uh, yeah, good looking pup. That's where, we're, that's where we're fishing, just over there. So, hopefully he goes and fetches us some fishing. I'll leave you to it, pal. See you later, mate.
That's it, must be supper time. Hey, bud. Of course the worry is any second now one of them rods is going to bend double he's going to pick up that squid and he's just going to take off with it I had a chat there was a woman down from uh, York, I think I think her top said Yorkshire Yorkshire Wildlife or something like that um, anyway local local wildlife organisation uh, I had a nice chat with her she was quite friendly um, she thinks that the pup's about five months old. Um, she says uh, more than likely mum will be not too far away. So uh, I dare say he's off to uh, off to find mum, see if he's got any lunch. Oh. Well, we've not blanked but it's not what you want to see and to make things even worse I foul looked it that's a baby a real baby we'll be in the awful angler uh, fishing channel wouldn't be a fishing session would it without some awful moments so I'll just I'll just describe what we've had so uh, M62 over coming over here was shut um, so like I say it took about three hours to get here rather than an hour and a half on it like if you come come four o'clock Saturday morning hour and a half no traffic motorway all the way cruise it so yeah it took us about three hours we did detour uh, went to see uh, my local contact for some bait um, Mark always sorts us out when we're fishing over here good quality bait I'll show you how sticky the uh, the slap saw that he's got. Um, what next? What else? Oh, me, uh, me cheese and ham cob. That was awful. I mean, I don't know. I was expecting paying a quid for a cheese and ham cob. I was expecting a little bit of cheese and ham, but uh, obviously not. Um, next one. Tip lights. Tip lights aren't in my box. Um, I've got a feeling when we last time I fished at night was Bristol when we fished up did that Portishead Portishead fishing trip um, and I I remember putting the rods in fully built up in the van because I was in the I was in the sprinter um, oh just had a nibble yeah put the rods in fully built up and um, I've got a feeling that the tip, I left the tip lights switched on. I got in bed, and they were annoying me. So I took the tip lights off, switched them off, and uh, I've put them in a box in the van. And because I'm not in the van, um, yeah, I haven't got them. So so yeah, that was uh, that. That's possibly the, the most awful moment of this trip, given that we're fishing at night. But I did find a stray bag of the, the little snap, like glow stick rod tip lights um, that I've somehow managed to fashion to the rods. I've no idea how long they're going to last. They, uh, they might fly off next cast, but we'll see how we go. Um, and that's that's pretty much it so far, otherwise it's it's not been too awful. I'll, uh, I'll switch this light off and you can... Uh, See the sunset in the background. What's that song? Uh, it can only get better. All right, go on, then, little dude. There you go. Up, see. Go on, mate. It's all right, pal. Don't come back.
Oh, I've got a feeling I know what this is. I've got a feeling it might be the bigger brother of the one we've just had. What have we got? I mean, it's not even its bigger brother. It looks more like its little brother. <laughs> Oh, that's shocking. That took a whole squid. Whole squid and bluey. I mean, it's, it's a sprightly little thing. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Another dog. These circle hooks are wicked, look. Every time. Well, unless, of course, you catch them in the, uh, in the fin. But, uh, yeah. There you go. Easy as that. I'd say uh, it might be a little bit bigger. No, it's not. That's shocking. There's one thing I will say. I'll never, ever get tired of fishing at night. Um, sitting out under the stars, listening to the waves, just watching the rod tips. Not a care in the world. We've not blanked, so it's not a bad evening. Not had the, not had the killer fish that we're after so far. fish on right and the one thing i will say is with these little baby baby dog fish you do have to be quite careful when you're putting them back as much as they are a pain because they can get quite disorientated so just make sure look at that and he has i think gone so yeah, just make sure they don't wash up behind you because, uh, like I say, they can uh, can get disorientated and just keep washing up. And there we have it. Another new species for the evening. I mean, he's not even letting go of my bait. Greedy shit. He's got the up wrap around the back of him on the other one, so... Be a feisty one. Good, good. Good, have it. Who wants some? It's a Friday night, son. Get it. Go get it. Go out of it. Does anybody else fish on their own at night and shit themselves up? Right, I mean, I'm, I'm a grown-ass man. I'm a six-foot-four rugby player, but I still sit here thinking... What the fuck was that? Who was that? Somebody behind me? Weird, isn't it, the way the mind works? Let me know in the comments. Tell me it's not only me, or feel free to tell me just to grow a pair. Well guys, uh, it's nearly midnight. We've had no bites for the last three quarters of an hour or so. Um, my phone's got about 5% battery left on it. My headlight keeps flashing to tell me that's getting low. The, the glow in the dark tip lights have about had it. So I think it's, uh, I think those are all the signs needed to, to call it quits. As always guys, you wouldn't leave your tackle. Take your trash home with you. It's as easy as that.